When an array is declared, the computer reserves a chunk of memory that will serve as the array. The size of this chunk is the space that a single element takes up in memory multiplied by the length of the array. For example, if we want to create a 5-element integer array, this will take the size of an integer, which is 4 bytes in many systems, times 5. So the array will have 20 bytes of reserved space. So all of the data in an array is stored in a single continuous chunk of memory. This is called being stored contiguously. Indexing works by offsetting from the beginning of the array by the index number multiplied by the size of a single element. So if we access index 3 of the integer array, it goes 3 times 4 equals 12 bytes from the start of the array. This is actually why array indexing starts at 0, because the first element starts at 0 bytes offsetted from the beginning. The reason why arrays have to have fixed size is because the chunk of memory that is given to the array when it is declared is the only space that is reserved for the array in memory. All of the memory surrounding the array can be filled with important data that is used for other stuff in the computer. So we can't just expand the reserved array space because this could overwrite data that doesn't belong to the array. 